All right, remember that Gauteng is the most populous, uh, the richest province, uh, a huge number of potential voters. So this is a crucial province for the elections and next year. I'm sure my colleague Samkele Maseko agrees. He's been uh, watching that contest. Uh, really, it was between Soliem Zamanga, the incumbent leader, against Kume Ramolifo at the elective conference. Um, Zimanga is victorious. Uh, Samkele, you're with him. Indeed, Francis Solim Simanga has re been re-elected as the provincial leader of the Democratic Alliance in voting, beating Kume Ramuli for with over 60% of the electoral votes casted by all delegates, of whom casted their ballots, over 700 of them out of the 961 voting delegates actually voted here at the Provincial Congress of the Democratic Alliance. I am now going to bring in Mr. Soli Simanga. Mr. Simanga, congratulations for your re-election as the Democratic Alliance leader within the province of Gauteng. In earnest, the 2024 election campaign begins right Thank here. Thank you very much, uh, Samkele. It does. It does begin right here. I said, you heard me saying that from tomorrow, Ziasha, uh, we hit the ground. Uh, there's over 13 million people that are not registered, that are eligible to register that are not registered. There's 14 million people in South Africa that are registered that are not uh, voting. We need to make sure that we tap into that. We need to make sure that we turn as many people out to come and register and to come out and vote. We know that there is a voting campaign um, by the IEC, um, that all the voting weekend that is going to be coming up very, very shortly. We want to make sure that we begin to the process of registering as many people as we possibly can and make sure that we can vast them towards voting next year. We don't want a situation where people continue to stay away from voting, but yet at the same time, the same people will be then hitting the streets and then toy toying instead of then saying, how do we then uh, ensure that we're able to then uh, ex exercise the biggest boycott or the biggest protest of voting against a, a government that has failed um, to, de to deliver economy, uh, economic uh, development or to deliver infrastructure that is able to then ensure that people's lives are a whole lot better. That's the me that, that mandate that I gave to the delegation here and this is what we're going to deliver going forward. When you look at the 20, 2019 election campaign, you as a premier candidate for the Democratic Alliance, you did not do fairly well in that particular election. You lost three seats in the provincial legislature. How do you claw back that lost ground in 2021 local government elections? You were at the forefront of the election campaign. You lost 77 councillor seats across all Gauteng municipalities. How do you regain that lost ground with Freedom Front Plus entering into your base and Action SA entering into your base? Well, I can, th I can tell you right now is that, uh, you know, in 2019, um, you know, the party was not in a very stable um, uh, space. Um, in 2021, it was just a few months, you know, after we had taken over. And you would remember that, that in the, the period in 20, between 19, uh, 2019 and 2020, um, that's when we had Musi Maimani resigning, we had Herman Mashaba resigning, we had John Moody resigning, you had uh, Tao resigning um, and taking along and destabilizing our, our, our structures. My job since 2020 has been to stabilize our structures and to make sure that our structures are battle ready. Right now, as I'm talking to you, 89% of our branches have been launched. Um, we have our constituencies that already have leadership um, at that level. Our regions are ready to go. The province is ready to go. Um, we are ready to face the elections. We have built up a nice kitty uh, that also gives us that financial backing that we are going to go into these elections with. So. This is very, very different to where we were in, 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 in 2019 and in 2021. I think this party now is much more stable, um, had been written off by a whole lot. Uh, the polling are telling us something completely different right now. The polling are telling us that we are in fact ahead of the ANC at this point in time. We want to press and make sure that the polling is not just the polling, but converts into real election results that is going to present us as um, you know, the biggest party here in Gauteng. The federal chairperson of council sent you and Kumera Mulifu messages two weeks ago or a week ago that they will not announce the premier candidates until this particular provincial congress is done. Are you the premier candidate for the Democratic Alliance? <laughs> Sam Gelo. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, this is, you know, the, the, the way it's done in the Democratic Alliance is very, very different. You have to write tests. You have to go through interviews. You have to, to write proposals in terms of how you're going to do things around. And that has to be tested in terms of getting people that are experts in, in, in government to then test what you're saying and question whether you have an understanding. And they will score you on that and then they will then say, 
he is the right person that will be able to then get into that office and do something. Um, you don't want to put somebody who is going to get there and not be able to then do what needs to be done. So that's the, 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 how, what the party believes in. Whether, you know, Solim Simanga has got enough, um, I think only the federal chairperson and the leader of the party will make that announcement because the result is only lying with them now. There are three candidates for premiership. It's yourself, it's Kumer Ramulifo, it's Khalib Kachalia. Who do you think, looking at the experience of Khalib Kachalia and is a shadow uh, minister yeah. of uh, public enterprises yeah. within the DA caucus yeah. in parliament, he was, he was also running for mayorship here in Akurulene yeah. alongside you running in Twani. Have you had an engagement between the three of you? Well, look, I mean, we engage all the time, but I think the, the advantage that I come with is that I have, I'm the only one that have actually had um, the experience of being in government. I'm the one who has really tasted, um, you know, the ability to, 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 to effect um, some, some, some lever of change um, in government. I think also having been the caucus leader in our provincial legislature as well, having had an opportunity to engage with our shadow MECs and coordinating a team that is able to then put an alternative plan for Gauteng, um, that is something that we were able to then present um, you know, to the party and then for me to then say, this is how I consolidate everything. This is what I think needs to be done. Because we had said this time, we're not going to go like what we went into you know, without knowing um, a whole lot and figuring it out as we go. This time we know what needs to be done. We know we have a hundred day plan. We have a one year plan. We have a, a two and a half year plan. We have a five year plan. And hopefully we can then uh, have a longer plan. We know what we're going to need to tap into to get the financial muscle that this Gauteng province is going to need to ensure that municipalities are able to then get the infrastructure upgrades that they so desperately need. We know who we want to then start talking to in academia to then start engaging with us to help us. We know of the civil society that we want to start talking to um, in terms of, uh, you know, working together. We know who are some of the officials that mo must probably not even in Gauteng that we want to start coaching into Gauteng to then say we need to turn around a whole lot. We need to turn the, 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 the health uh, sector in Gauteng around. We need to turn the South African police service around. We need to turn um, uh, uh, um, education around. We need to turn um, social development around. The infrastructure, roads. We need to do away with, uh, with, uh, with ETOs. We need to get the economy going. These are things that we are already grappled with. There's a plan to this, and this is what is going to inform our manifesto going forward. If you were to be the premier, your, your tenure in China was riddled with scandals. Glad Africa, oil deals, contracts for EFF leaders in the fleet areas of China, the oil, oil the deals. diesel. The diesel contract that was given to a company aligned to Marshall Damini, company some allegedly aligned to Julius Malema, you were seen as a person who is a puppet of the EFF in Twani, who is letting the EFF run amok, allegedly, at the coffers of the state, and in particular, the scandals that involved Glad Africa. Will you not be a scandal riddle <laughs> premier? Well, first of all, I think my record speaks for itself. When we dealt with Glad Africa, I took a report to council. You know what happened. The ANC and the EFF voted against tabling of that report. We didn't hide. We didn't try to explain it. We took a report to council. That's number one. Number two, the, the, that same uh, oil or diesel uh, contract that you're talking about happened when I was gone. I was not there. It happened. And it was quite funny. When it happened, it is actually after the so-called motion of no confidence was about to be tabled. Mm. So I don't know what transpired there. Maybe you can go and investigate what transpired there. But I can tell you right now, the only, only thing that you can try to fault me in, 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 in Swan is what happened in the, pre, in the private office of the mayor. Um, you know, when, when, when you're talking about the Steph, uh, St uh, Stefan de Villa's appointment, when the, whether you're talking about the Marita Okam. Well, you call it whatever <laughs> you want, but those are matters that were handled in the private office. But here is what the difference is between me and any other leader. We didn't sweep anything under the carpet. We didn't try to explain it away and move people from one office to another. We dealt it with it decisively, and this is what leadership is all about. Is when somebody says there's wrong that has been committed, you deal with it. You don't try to sleep it. You don't try to ignore people or to sweep it away. That led Africa. We took a report. You would know what happened with that report. And I think that's the track record that you know that that, that we come and talk about to then say this is leadership that has been at the forefront of dealing and ething with things and dealing with them decisively and getting um, you know the response that will um, improve um, you know the, the situation or improve how government gets to work and this is what the people of Houting can look forward to. Thank you very much Mr. Solim Simanga. Sir. Congratulations. Thank you sir. Will you be engaging Juju? Um, no. Are you that scared of him? 
No, Julius and I get along in personal in personal oh, terms. Along. We get along. I mean, he's, uh, he's somebody that I think has got two personalities. There's a personality <laughs> of him in stage when it rises, and there's a personality of him when you're engaging with him um, as a person. So uh, on a personal level, I think we are able to then engage. Politically, I don't know whether we'll be able to find each other. Why weren't you rising there on the podium? You, you can't rise. We, we, don't, we don't rise. We want to be on the same level as our, as our audience here. Thank you very much, Solim Simanga. <laughs> that is Mr. Solim Simanga, the newly elected provincial leader of the Democratic Alliance, who will be going head to head against Panyaza Lusufi, the provincial chairperson of the ANC and Premier, and against Nkululego Tunga, who is the EFF provincial chairperson in Gauteng. Action SA has the former MMC of Johannesburg, Funzele Ngobeni, who is a former ally of Solim Simanga. They will be gunning, going head to head with Bongosi Damini of the IFP for the all important 2024 for elections in Gauteng. Thank you very much. Uh, Sam Kele in conversation with the re-elected leader of the DA Gauteng, Soli Mzamanga.